Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a while since I uploaded my last video. My last video was still when I was on my exchange in the Netherlands, and after that, things have changed a lot. In this video, I will give you a little uh, live update, and also today we have a very special guest, Carla, my classmate in the master that I'm studying now. Can you briefly introduce yourself? Yeah. Um, so I'm also doing the masters in global business and sustainability with Lily. We've been studying for a little bit more than a month now and I'm 25, I'm from Germany and I also worked a couple of years in between my bachelor studies and my master studies and yeah, I'm really excited about this video. Lily, what did you want to talk about today? Yes, so as Carla has mentioned, she has been working for quite some years before she uh, started this master and for me, before uh, I started this master, I was also working in a Dutch company for eight years so far and I really feel the difference between a full-time work worker, so someone who works full-time and as a, then a student. I feel like it's such a big change of lifestyle. Today's video, we want to talk about what's the difference we think between working full-time and going back to school as a master's student. <music> I did a lot of different things. Overall, I worked for three different companies and during my bachelor studies, which was in packaging engineering, I already had a mandatory um, six month internship, which I did at a really multinational cosmetics company. Um, it's called Biostoff and they offer brands like Nivea or Hansa Plus. And for those six months, I was working on a lot, lot of different projects in the packaging management team. During those six months, I already went a lot into the sustainability of the packaging and then I continued working for them um, for my bachelor thesis so also as a working student in the next six months so I worked for around a year for, the, for this company mm -hmm. and then after I finished my bachelor studies I also did another internship but this was at a packaging production company and this was more of a packaging consulting where we um, consulted other companies to optimize their whole packaging portfolio um, but I didn't really like this area, so I didn't want to continue working there. Mm -hmm. So I applied for another um, FMCG company, so it's also in the fast moving consumer goods. And I applied as a sustainability manager at this uh, startup company in Leipzig that okay. produced vegan chocolate. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I really liked this job. It was a really fast paced, super interesting atmosphere there. And I was able to not only work on packaging, which was still a lot of um, what I did, but I was also allowed to do a lot of other sustainability topics apart from packaging. Yeah. And this is really what I wanted to do. How about you? What was your work like? So I don't have as much as work experience as Cara has, but my previous job uh, before this master is in a Dutch maritime company. It's a shipping company that uh, delivers natural liquid gas and all kinds of fuels. I work there as a sustainability engineering as a student <laughs> and it's a part-time job but because back then I wasn't going to school so I say that I, I, I can work there five days a week so it's really you just feel like you work there as a full-time and then my uh, job is taking care of their environmental uh, data to check if everything looks perfect looks correct so that we can uh, submit it to a verifier and to get a certificate. Did you do a lot of different things or did you focus mostly on or one topic during your work? I feel like it's quite repetitive. Basically, you receive the update of the data and then you open the files and then you check are there some errors and if they are, you go back to a system. I learned contact the captain on the ships who submit the data or contact the operators in the office. I was trying to ask for more job to do. So I was also involved a little bit about um, ETS, Emission Trade Scheme. It's an allowance that companies have to buy in order to emit carbon. It's a thing in the Europe and I find it very interesting. There's been so many changes in the sustainability area and mm -hmm. um, the legislation in Europe um, overall mm -hmm. and companies really have to shift their mindset mm -hmm. and I think it's a super interesting time mm -hmm. to go into this topic and to study sustainability. So yeah. I think we, cho we chose the right time to study this Yes, um, because there's so many changes and opportunities. Yeah, definitely. 
when I did my bachelor's, I already knew that I wanted to do another master's degree, but I wasn't completely sure which one yet. So I decided to go in the industry first because I also found this really interesting job. I wanted to be completely sure what master's I wanted to do. So that gave me a little bit of time to figure that out for myself. Mm -hmm. And during my job as a sustainability manager, I really found for myself, this is a topic I really, really like mm -hmm. and I want to get more professional knowledge on. Um, and so I started scanning all universities in Europe for this like specific master. Sustainability business. Yeah, sustainable business. Mm -hmm. So not only the topic of sustainability, but also linked to corporate and to, to business, mm -hmm. which is, I think, not very often um, combined in universities yet. Mm -hmm. So this was the masters I really, really wanted to get into. Um, and it took me a lot of time to, to apply for it. Um, I'm really happy that it worked out in the end, but that's my main reason. I just wanted to learn more about the topic and get more mm -hmm. professional in it. Is it also because when you were in the role of sustainability yeah. manager, did you feel, feel that you were lacking some knowledge? Yeah, yeah. Um, I was hoping to get more knowledge in terms of persuading others how important sustainability is mm. because I think this was one of the biggest challenges that I faced during my time at the social startup Macau. It's already a really sustainably di driven startup mm -hmm. but still oftentimes it was super difficult to argue the case of sustainability. I was hoping that in the masters I would learn how to convince others how important sustainability is because mm. I feel like that's what we're going to have to do a lot a lot in the future. anywhere really. Yeah. So yeah. this is something I'm, I was mm, lacking a little bit and hoping to learn. Mm. How about you? I would say it wasn't my original plan because when I was in bachelor, I really didn't like to go to another study anymore. I was kind of craving for not study anymore and then go directly to work and then start, you could say, earning money and start to contribute my capability in the area that I like. But why I decided to go in directly from bachelor to a gap year for just one year and then directly back to master, uh, I think for to some degree it's a realistic consideration because during my exchange in the Netherlands I tried to apply for a job here. And I realized that in the Netherlands it's very common for them to have a master degree you have to be specialized in an area and also because they in their education system they only study three years for bachelor and most of them would go to master the master is only for one year so i think if i want to make my life here i want to work and live here i think it's good to have a master degree and i really think it's the right decision um, because I enjoyed it so far and I have learned so many new things that I didn't know before. I would say without knowing these things, I can imagine if I go to work directly, it would be more confusing. I would not be able to even convince myself what I'm doing because I don't know if it's a right thing yeah. to do. So that's I completely agree with that. Yeah. Um, so during the first month of our studies, mm -hmm. um, what kind of knowledge do you think you already gained that you can use in, during your jobs? I wouldn't say it will be useful necessarily in the job, but I one topic that I find very interesting and useful for myself is planetary boundary. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, scientific evidence saying that in different environmental challenges and where we are currently on the basin and then where we are moving to and then until which threshold we will be fuck off <laughs> so i think that's super useful in order to persuade people because you have to know where you are uh, currently and then where the limit is so i find yeah. this idea very fascinating and it kind of also answered my questions in my mind like that i always had as a kid mm -hmm. that's very nice yeah i agree it, it was like so many new topics that we learned mm -hmm. um, and I think it gave us a really great base to, to understand how sustainability, work, uh, how sustainability works mm -hmm. and how interconnected all the systems are. <laughs> um, yeah, to get just an idea of what the, what the companies have to face in terms of the complexity of sustainability management. 
And how was it for you overall, like switching the lifestyle of full time work and then going back to, st to studying? Mm -hmm. um, was it very time consuming for you the last month? Yes, before I started this master, at some point I was so reluctant to go back to school. I really enjoyed working and then I couldn't imagine me going back to school and I have to study, I have to prepare for the exam, I have to do group discussion assignments and lots of things because I think I have done it a lot in my bachelor and yeah and after one month of our study already, it has been one month, I would say surprisingly I really enjoyed it a lot also. Mm -hmm. That's great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's as intense as I expected, even more intense because we have each week we have an assignment to hand in and for that assignment you have to prepare you have to read a lot you have to discuss a lot with your group and for each lecture we go to we, you also have to read a lot of things but i think one thing that supports me or make it manageable is because the topics themselves are very interesting and very fascinating for me so i even thought that i am very excited to read all of them yeah it's such a surprising thing i found yeah I, I agree with this. Um, if I wouldn't have been this interested in the topics, it would have been like, really, really hard work. It was still hard work, but it was fun because everything I learned, I was like, oh, finally, I know this. And it was it was really nice to, I want to, to get so many, yeah, exactly, <laughs> to get so many insights. Yeah. Um, because also, I think that our professor really mm, had a great way of teaching. Yeah, so, he's very good. Like, he's very engaging and interactive in the course and in the classes. Yeah, definitely. But in terms of your weekly schedule, like as a student, how does it affect your personal life? <laughs> because we don't have like we don't have to be there in the morning every day at nine. Yeah. Sometimes it's nine, sometimes it's one. And, after, and we yeah. don't have a lecture every day. It's mm -hmm. it's very different each each week. We have a different schedule. Yeah. Um, and then after each month, we have a new class, and that switches up like your whole schedule Entire again. Schedule. I feel like the biggest change you could say between work and as a student is the timetable you've got. Uh, because at work, you can expect that you are. Uh, occupied by your job from 9 in the morning to 5 in the afternoon and outside of that hours is your free time you don't care about your job and then you can uh, arrange you can schedule some socialized events with your family and friends after work or during the, during the weekend but as a student it's very hard to do that because uh, as I said we have a lot of reading to read and usually we will also schedule group discussion in the evening or during, during the weekend. So the boundary between work or study and then your free time is very not clear. Mm -hmm. You really have to be very clear in mind that which time I be work, I will be working and which time I can do something fun. Yes, yeah, it's difficult to really shut your mind off mm -hmm. of the studies because yeah. basically you have to be available all the time for your mm -hmm. classmates. And I don't know, I was thinking about the, the studies like way more than I did think about my work when I used to work, you know, like even in the evening, very late until the evening, I would be working on my assignments mm -hmm. or I don't know. Um, I think for me, it was also a change of time management mm -hmm. because you really have to schedule your time yourself um, and you can do it differently every day. Every day is like switched up. Everything mm -hmm. can be different each week. And I really like this versatile lifestyle. Um, yeah, in terms of the flexibility and a change about yeah. lifestyle, I, I like it. Yeah, because like, if you only have class in the afternoon, yeah. you can decide to go for brunch on a Tuesday <laughs> um, and then decide that yeah. on Tuesday you just want to like uh, change your work mm -hmm. from the morning to the evening and you can just do that yourself. Yeah. And in a corporate job, it's not always possible because you have meetings in the morning and you can't mm -hmm. obviously go for brunch on a Tuesday. Yeah. So um, I think that part uh, of being a student is actually really nice. Yeah, that's what I like about being a student. And then the, the negative part, I guess, is that today is Sunday. <laughs> and I will, I will do a lot of work today as well, yes. which I didn't always have to do when I was working. So, mm, um, yeah. I guess, yeah, it has this like the positive and the negatives. Um, I like that I can just switch up my schedule. I think I would also prefer a more ever changing schedules because, like, at some point after working for uh, several months, I st started to feel bored and I start to seek for some fun outside of my work and not paying too much attention on work. It just feels like a duty you have to do and you only enjoy your life after work. I don't think it's a very good attitude to work. Mm -hmm. so yeah. That's what I experienced. 
Oh, interesting. Actually, it wasn't like this for me. No, oh, because yeah, in the startup, it. It, was, mm, it was more combined. Mm -hmm. um, and it was possible to take also an hour off during the day and then just have an additional hour in the evening or something like this. So we could also be very flexible. Um, and this is when you were working from home, right? um, not in office. But it was also in the office. Mm -hmm. Yeah, both. We could really, like, it was super flexible in the mm -hmm. startup. Mm -hmm. um, and this is what I really liked. Mm -hmm. um, so I think if I will apply for more jobs after our studies, I will also try to find something that has offers a lot of flexibility, mm -hmm. so I can um, I don't have to work my life around work, mm -hmm. but I can incorporate both mm -hmm. and yeah, I don't know have really, really fun time during work. Yeah, and I think that's also less exhausting. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's more fun. fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's more fun. <laughs> so. And hopefully you still have some time to go for a brunch. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> work. that would be perfect. that would be pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> so overall, what do you think? Are you happy to be a student again? I think being a student, your main goal and your main purpose is to learn new things, is to grow yourself, is to improve your either your knowledge on a subject or your writing skill, your academic skill. While at work, it's more like what you can contribute to a company. You need to have outputs. You need to give out something. Switching back from work to students, I really appreciate that uh, the school is built there for you to grow yourself. Yeah. And then the professors and then all the course mm, design, it's all for you to learn new things. I think it's such a wonderful thing on the world if you have this privilege to be a student. Yeah, because you, you can take all day to learn for yourself and to grow yourself. Yeah. And yeah, it's great to take all this time to just put into yourself and your own development mm -hmm. rather than working all day for someone else, someone else or even <laughs> if it's your own company it's it's mm -hmm. still like you don't I mean you still personally grow obviously but mm -hmm. the main objective is not your own personal growth yeah, yeah. I, I really agree with what you said mm -hmm. um but what about the financials do you think that um, this affects you also it's definitely a very big difference between work and students is the financial security at work, I was so fascinated by the feeling that you can expect that you have income at some point in the end of the month or you just have a very stable income. You feel more secured. I also started to buy something that I couldn't before. That was such a great thing in your life. I think I believe you can resonate if you just start working. Yeah, it's so different than a student. Yeah, as, as a student now, you have to be very careful with your expense, <laughs> yeah. I would say. I think also it's the independence that you'll lose a little bit because um, like living in the Netherlands, I think you can only afford with a full-time job and a student job, mm. it's not enough to sustain your lifestyle mm. because living expenses are really high also compared to Germany. So I'm also doing a, work, a working student job as a teaching assistant, but I'm not gaining enough money to pay like all my living expenses, yeah. even if I like like narrow them down as much as I can. Yeah. So I'm already relying on my um, savings that I did during the last few years. Mm -hmm. And also I'm, again, dependent on my parents, mm -hmm. which um, I don't love to do, but they're happy to help. But nice. um, it's still difficult to go back to dependence after mm -hmm. you've already had financial independence for a few years. Yeah. So the, the financial topic was a big one for me. Mm -hmm. um, but it helps that this master's is only a one-year program mm -hmm. uh, because in Germany, most masters are two-year programs. And so I was like, okay, one year I can do it, that's fine. <laughs> a lot of people in your program, they say that they like it because it's just for one year. So you spend a lot of money just for one year and you stop working just for one year and then you put all the effort to study, to yeah. learn things. It just will be one year. So it suddenly feels it worth this effort. Mm -hmm. say. Yeah, definitely. And I think also putting in the, the money and the effort now, it will... Um, it will come back to us when we look for jobs and it will be much easier to find good jobs with this master's. Yeah. Um, also the salary will be higher because we have a master's yeah. and stuff like this. So I think that it will be rewarded yeah. that we put in all this effort. Mm. Lily, are you happy that you got back to studying after already working? I think I am very happy with... You think? Are you, you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I am very happy with okay. That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> yeah, after one month of studying in Erasmus University as a master's student, I really like it so far. I like the first course. We, I have learned a lot personally and uh, also academically on that course. And I think that's really important for my future career also. I also appreciate because I did my bachelor in Taiwan and now I really enjoy experiencing different uh, culture and different education system here. 
uh, even the tiny thing like group discussion in English, that's something that I never done before. So I think my life has been enriched a lot by this semester. That's nice. I, I completely agree. It was it's such a big challenge, but I think it's very rewarding and I've already met so many great people. Um, and also I've been learning so much about different cultures because our program is 50% international. Yes. So I think that's also great. You can connect to so many people from all over the world and also learn from their experiences. So I'm also really, really glad that I got into this master's and then I decided to apply for it in the first place. Yes, so I'm really curious about what the rest of the year is going to bring. Yeah. We will make another video about the, the program that we are now studying. If you have um, any questions or you are curious about any part, anything of it, you can comment below. And then hopefully we will make another video and uh, talk more about it. Okay, so I think that's it for today. Yeah. Thank you, Carla, for coming here. Thank, <laughs> Thank you for inviting me. I really enjoyed it. I really liked doing this video with you. Yes. Thank you all for watching. Thank you. See you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>